Good day, one and all, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Lady Top Hat. In the last episode, we crashed horrifically. Therefore, I've reverted back to a stage where our astronaut was still alive, and we're going to attempt this mission again with some slight modifications to the vehicle. So I had two engines. I'm going to remove one of the engines. I think that gave us too much. We're just going to stick with this one. I've balanced the flight now. We have two radial parachutes. That should mean that we go straight up instead of veering off. And that should give us the altitude that we need. I'm also going to add an extra stage because I want those parachutes to deploy first. Okay, let's just check our crew member is still alive. Valentina Kerman is still alive. Excellent, confirmed. And we'll still call this Top Hat 5. And we'll go straight to the launch pad. Okay. Now remember, we're trying to get 15 science points in order to um, unlock the next tier of survival equipment. Right. Let's bring up the mission. Okay, we do have two missions on the board. We are testing the RT-10 Hammer Solid Fuel Booster and the Radial Mount Parachutes. So, up we go. <laughs> Yes. It's possible. It was possible. 58. Yes. We need 56. And we can make 58. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we have a good speed. We just need to hit... Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, why didn't that check? Why did that not go green? I had the right speed. Look, I have all four. Green. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know why that didn't work. Because I had all four green. Hmm. Valentina looks very happy there. Well, let's speed things up. Get rid of that. And get ready to deploy these parachutes at 7,000. Yes, deploy. 
Speed! We're going too fast! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Achieved! Ha! Excellent. Very good! We did it! Yay! Speed up. Speed up. <laughs> well, that was the solid fuel booster. <laughs> Fantastic. That was exciting. <laughs> Okie dokie. There we go. Badoing. Right, recover the vessel. Recovery of a vessel that survived a flight, yes. Recovered the parts and the crew. However, neither of the missions were completed, even though I had. That's a bit strange. I had four ticks in both. Well, anyway, the point is we've now earned enough science points. For some reason, they have not ticked off, mm -hmm. even though I achieved all of the things. Okay. Interesting. Let's go to R&D. Ha ha. Yay, now we have enough science to unlock the survivability. And there we do. There we go. Next, we would have flight control. So we're developing things that we can use on our rockets and basic science. The stay Putnik. <laughs> Rechargeable battery pack, thermometer, radiator panel, radiator panel, and comms. So we are getting there, bit by bit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Kerbal Space Program. There is a wealth of opportunity in this game. It is a sandbox, so you can do what you like. If you want to see some very silly rockets, obviously Jack Septic Eye shows all of those very silly things. However, this was the sensible way of playing. <laughs> or rather, the... Um, uh -huh. The... Uh, What's the word? Reserved way of playing uh, in order to uh, achieve things and earn points quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, if you've enjoyed the game, then do play. And once again, we have yet another game where it's possible to play as a female. Job done. For now, I bid you a very fond farewell and a tally-ho.